Let me ask you another question. You've mentioned autoimmune conditions. In what you've seen in your, in your studies, can colostrum halt those or maybe even reverse some of the, the symptoms from well, autoimmune I've got to be very careful. You know, colostrum doesn't treat or cure any sure. diseases, okay? It's not, it doesn't treat or cure anything. All colostrum does is it's designed to do what it was meant to do, and that's balance the immune system or start the immune system or restart the immune system. So it doesn't treat any disease. It's, it's understanding how colostrum and what is it. It's something that balances the immune system. And if you look at disease states, whether they be autoimmune conditions, an autoimmune condition is a hyperactive immune state where the body is basically attacking itself mm -hmm. in various areas of the body. <clears throat> essentially, autoimmune conditions are essentially the same. They just manifest themselves differently in the body. It's the same condition. And we understand the immunological um, uh, aspects of this. Autoimmune diseases are a Th1 condition, right? And any type of... Uh, uh, any type of immune system, immune condition is propagated with the particular concentrations of cytokines. You have more Th1 cytokines, you're going to produce more Th1 cells, which then propagate into autoimmune disease, as well as, well as TH, Th17 uh, cells also propagate a lot of the autoimmune conditions. But it, I want to make sure that colostrum is not something that treats or cures anything. Mm -hmm. All it does is just it balances the immune system because that's what it is. You know, that's not claiming anything. It's what colostrum is. You take colostrum when you're born to start your immune system. You know, you can't dispute that. That's what it is. That's what it does. So, you know, rather than saying it, 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 it may treat this or may treat that, understand what that condition is first and understand that it's, an, it's immune related. In fact, most conditions are immune related. But the key is, is when I lecture to doctors, is getting the understanding of what is the immune system. And once you understand it, how can you help the immune system? How can you help your body heal itself? You know. Mm -hmm. So this is another tool. It's not the all and end all. It's just a tool that doctors have in their practice, as well as consumers, to keep your immune system strong or balanced. Okay? There's a value in that. Mm -hmm. There's a value in teaching the body how to function. And these peptides um, don't just work on the immune system. They work on the endocrine system. They're, they're neural immune peptides. I mean, if you look at Alzheimer's, it's basically di diabetes type 3 of, of the brain. All these things are interrelated. You know, Their body is a, is a multidimensional system that we don't understand what it really does. You know, But we're getting a handle on it. But if you look at, you know, look, we've been around for millions of years, or we've been developed for mm -hmm. over millions of years. How will we, how do we develop? I mean, you look at the, take a natural approach to things, to, to, to treatment of medicine. Let's look at natural approaches to treating disease. I don't like saying treating or cure or anything, but just understand how important it is to keep our immune system strong, healthy, balanced, modulated. And I think that's the message is, Rather than, I have an autoimmune disease, what do I do? Okay, you don't take this to treat it. It doesn't work like that. It's understanding that whatever you do, you have an immune condition. You need to take an immune modulator to balance your immune system to make it less hyperactive or less sensitive. Same, same um, as in having a suppressed immune system. I mean, if you look at, you look at uh, you know, HIV patients and mm -hmm. AIDS patients, they basically have a suppressed immune system. AIDS is an acquired immune deficiency syndrome. So it's a suppressed or depressed immune, immune system. So therefore, if you have a suppressed immune system, your body's going to suffer from opportunistic infections that you're basically going to die from you know, any type of infection or, or a, a condition. So it's important to boost that from a suppressed state but downregulate from a, from a hyperactive mm -hmm. autoimmune allergy type state. The key is to balance, to get everything back in balance again. Homeostasis, we call it. So, um, and that's, that's really the message is, rather than thinking about treating diseases, because all these diseases are, are manifestations of immune responses that are out of balance in the body. A lot of them.
Mm -hmm. So if we think about it in that respect, well, if you if you if you balance the immune system, it's gonna it's you, you're gonna feel better. You're gonna be have lower probability of being symptomatic. So I really don't say anything about oh it treats autoimmune disease or it treats allergies. It doesn't. Understand what those conditions are first, mm -hmm. and that's you know I lecture to doctors all over the world, and they get it. They're smart. They understand this. You know, just they just need a little bit of. Um, uh, refresher courses on what the immune system does, and once they refresh, it comes into their mind again. Because really, they weren't that, they ain't taught a lot about the immune system, unless you're an immunologist, which you specialise in it. So it's just getting a basic understanding of how our immune system works, and simply by modulating it and balancing it, you can go a long way with helping your patients. It's another tool that they have mm -hmm. in their toolbox to help fight diseases, you know, to help manage the condition. Mm -hmm. You can never really treat or cure anything. It's just managing that particular condition to a state that the patient is happy, that sure. they can, you know, they feel better and mm -hmm. they can participate in life.